or what's going on everybody welcome back to the century goes my career now so gonna let you guys know beforehand that the two expansion franchises the nba madden one will be put on pause until i finish the playoffs with both cedric and gerald so those will most likely be on pause until i finish the playoffs with them so yeah in this episode will be the first game of the playoffs and right now we're looking at the playoff picture and we have one game left so and that game, by the way, is against the Dallas Mavericks, if my controller actually wants to be connected. Um, it's... Okay, it's connected. Um, we're going up against the Maver... We're not playing the game, we're going to sim it. But we're going up against the Mavericks, um, and they're one seed ahead of us. So, if we win this game, we can go anywhere from, you know, 6th? Se we can go 7-5. to five. So, th this is a pretty big game, because the Blazers are already... It's already 4 and above, already set. It's really 5-8. to eight. Actually, no, it's not. No, no, we, we're, it's really five to seven. So we can go anywhere from seven, six, or five. If we're basing off of right now, we're the seventh seed, we'd have to face the Lakers. I don't want to do that. If we win, we'll go up against the Pelicans. I prefer going up against the Pelicans over the Blazers and the Lakers. Actually, the Blazers wouldn't be terrible, but I prefer to go up against the Pelicans. So if we win and we can move to six, that would be the most preferred. If not, uh, we're kind of effed by going up against the La Oh, the Lakers could also get the one seed, by the way. So, we'll find out when we sim this game, and we are going to sim through it. We do win. Giannis ends up winning the MVP for the third year in a row. Karan, the brother of Cedric, ends up winning Rookie of the Year. Cedric does not, because he actually got injured for a good chunk of the season, so... And Karan actually just completely balled out. 25 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, and a block. Spencer Dinwiddie, 6th man of the year. Giannis... Back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Years. Chris Boucher, Most Improved. Steve Nash, Coach of the Year. All-NBA First Team. Looks like this. Second team. Still no one on our team. And I kind of... Oh, Koran made an All-NBA team. Okay, interesting. Jimmy and Bam made the third team. All-Defensive Team. Cedric still didn't even make it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I guess it kind of figures. And we are the sixth seed. The Lakers ended up going to the first seed. So that's sick. Just like last season, by the way, two seed versus seven seed. Matt, actually, no, it was three versus six. Nonetheless, they're still playing each other. But we actually move all the way up to the sixth seed. The Kings keep the fourth seed or fifth seed. Um, can I check the standings? Yes, I can. So the Kings ended up winning anyways. So I am so okay. Oh, the the Jazz made the playoffs, huh? Interesting. Um, but yeah, I am so okay with the sixth seed. We get to go up against the Pelicans, who have Lonzo Ball. Eric Bledsoe, Brandon Ingram, Zion, and Steven Adams. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting team to play, but we can 100% beat this team. Like, without a doubt. And looking at the East, the Heat are not in the playoffs, and the Ma Magic, I almost said Mavericks, and the Magic are the fifth seed. That's interesting. This and the Heat barely missed out. Oh, no, they, they missed out by two games. Yeah. They, um. But, yeah, we already checked the Pelicans team. What am I doing? Um, we're going to check the playoff uh, player stats. We already saw Karan's stat. Shea was the second leading scorer with 24.6 rebounds and 4.5 and assists. Um, Cedric Lewis ended the season with 23 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists, a steal, and 2 blocks. I still think he deserved it over Cedric, but I mean over Karan. But it is what it is. I'm pretty sure he had missed a good chunk of the season if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, he only played 56 games, so you know what? That makes sense that he didn't end up winning it. But literally, this team is carried by the big three right here. Like, all average 23 and above, and our next leading scorer was basically 8 points. Poca Poca, 8 points. Hor look, look at this. They all average 8.4. But next offseason, if we end up, if they end up re-signing with the Thunder, big moves are going to be made. I'm Just let that be known. But I've talked for enough. Let's get into game one against the Pelicans. And after that, next episode, you'll see a sim to the next key game. All right, here we are. Game one. Of the NBA playoffs, we are finally here. The 44 and 38 Thunder against the 47 and 35 Pelicans. Three seed versus a six seed. Let's get it. Going up against Brandon Ingram. They put Lonzo on the bench, by the way. So Lonzo's going to be their six man. They're starting um, Kira Lewis, I think is how you say his name. But we're going up against Steven Adams. At least I don't have to guard the perimeter, but it is honestly going to be a very tough matchup. And already Zion in the post going for the fade array, and he hits it. Over Darius Basley. Honestly, I probably should have put myself on Zion, but that might not have been the greatest. I, I was kind of open in the paint. I'm going to set the screen for Karan, who's getting guarded by Bledsoe. 
Steven, are you going to... No, you're not going to disrespect my range. Give it up to Shea, who's open for the three. He misses Bomb on the offensive board. Zion's there, but he can't do much. The Pelicans currently have a five-point lead over us. And guess who's doing that? Kira Lewis is balling out for them right now. Um, I guess we're running a floppy route maybe with Shea. Shoot it. Oh, you shot way too late. Shea, you're really selling this game, to be honest. And Brandon Ingram for the three. It's off. Um, I guess I got the rebound. I didn't even know I did. We're going to give it up to Karan. Give it back up. Like, they need to start passing to me way earlier. Oh, Karan Lewis on the break. He's going to get stopped there. But, oh, we almost got the rebound. Eric Bledsoe running the floor. Give it to Lewis. I dare you. Okay. Um, Eric Bledsoe actually gets that bucket to go. Defensively, we can't do nothing. Currently on the fast break. And Shea gets right back Lewis. You got past Lewis, but you just messed up the whole play there. Now I got guards. Didn't know he had a 73 three-pointer. Gotcha. Guy gotcha. All right, we're down by six. I'm getting subbed out of the game. I actually don't have to play every single quarter now. And we're down by 12. Wow. Okay, I didn't think we were going to be getting spanked by the Pelicans, to be brutally honest with you. But apparently that's happening. Give it to Steven Adams. I am perfectly fine with that. I got Zion on me. I'm going to go right to the paint. Um, how? 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 I'm bigger than Zion. And then Eric Bledsoe was left wide open. In the... Yo, you're you're joking right now. Right? I uh, See, I'm open in the paint, and then they just refuse to pass it on time. I'm telling you. It's mad annoying. Zion and the poach on... Uh, yeah, this is just bullying. Get that out of here. That's just bullying. You're bullying an old man, Zion. How do you feel about that? Give it to me. What the hell are you all doing? What are you doing? You're lucky I scored there. That was just stupid. And then Zion's going to bully an old man again. Poor Al Horford, man. Watch him hit this too. Wow. How in the hell did he get that? And he greened it. 2K. They're going to keep going to Zion in the post because he's literally just bullying everyone. Why would you leave Ingram open to help? We already had the double team. Why are you triple teaming him? This team is making me really want to leave a free agency. I'm telling you, like, they're just stupid. Why are you going to triple team someone who's getting double teamed? I don't understand, and you're leaving a shooter wide open. Nope. No. No, 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 no. Steven Adams is not just going to make a three like that. He has a 29 three-pointer. He has a 29 you can't be serious, 2K. You can't be serious. We're down by 20. We're down by 20 right now. Why is George Hill still in the game? Why? Is there a reason why Shea's not in the game? Is there a reason why Shea Gilgis Alexander is not in the game, our highest overall player, and George Hill is in the game for him? Is there a reason why Steven Adams, with a 29 three-point rating, is hitting threes? Apparently, because 2K is the most realistic basketball game on the market, correct? Yeah, apparently. If y'all think I'm doing something in the post against Steven Adams, you are you are big time. I don't even know what the word I'm trying to say here. You are mistaken. You are mistaken. And what was that play we ran? I, I'm so close to just sitting to the end of this game. Like, I don't want to play anymore. We lost. It's over. This is just insane right now. Our offense is useless. I really hope we get swept so I can just get into the offseason. And there's my third. I want to foul out. There's my third foul. There's my third foul. I, I hate this team. Either everyone's getting traded on it besides the big three or I'm leaving. It's one or the other. Bro, he's taking another one. You better miss. You better effing miss. Come on, Karan. So, this is just getting stupid at this point. I'm getting subbed out, which is honestly a dumb idea. We're down by 17. We're down by 14. I will take it besides me down by 20. It's a lot better. But if Steven Adams keeps hitting threes, we're going to have issues. We have a chance here to cut it to single digits. Can we do it, though? And Karan has the mismatch. And we cut it to a nine-point game. Let's continue playing solid defense. 
I'm trying to, I basically have been baiting Steven Adams by leaving him wide open at three point line. I'm currently basically just risking it because apparently he can hit threes. But Zion, there's no way. Yeah, that's what I thought. We just need to keep playing defense like that and we'll be solid. I have Kira, I had Kira Lewis on me, but apparently Karan wants to do everything. I'm wide open. I was wide open. I can't get out of the paint. I'm stuck. Shea has Steven Adams on. There, I don't know what the hell is going on there, but we got the bucket, and we're currently only down by seven. Bro, we can't get a rebound. We actually can't get a rebound right now. They've gotten three offensive rebounds in a row. Kira Lewis cannot score here. Can we stop letting low overall players score? This is great defense being played right now. Just get the reap. Thank you. Thank you. I know what we're looking for in the offseason. Basically, okay, you got the bucket somehow. I'll take it. Five-point game. All right, I'm getting subbed out here. We're only down by six. And now we're down. You know, just play me for the rest of the game, please, because I got to a three-point game at one point. And, you know, this team is just full of bums. Watch Steven Adams make that, too. How are we down by ten again? With this possession, we can possibly cut it to a single-digit lead for the first time this entire fourth quarter. Nine-point lead. I've been backpacking like usual. We finally cut it to nine, but will it stay that way? I will bet money that we'll end up going back down by double digits on this possession. And for the game, we're probably going to lose by double digits. I just have that feeling. Oh, Karan with the block. All right, now we got a fast break going. Give it to me, Karan. That's on Kira Lewis, and that's a bucket. Seven-point lead. The hope is still alive. We just need to play defense. Bro, Zion just hit another three. Yo, this dude has, is three for three right now from three-point land. Well, I know he can. he's hit threes before in the NBA. I know that. But this is just getting absurd. Honestly. Him and freaking Steven. At Why is everyone going into the paint? Why is everyone going into the paint? I don't understand. I can't hit a three, but Zion and Steven Adams can hit one, and I have a higher three-point rating than both of them. See? it may, This game makes so much sense. Man, right there. 50 points, and guess what? We're still down by double digits. Yeah, you're most likely going to see the end of this game next clip because there's, we're just not going to win. You want to know why? Because our team doesn't know what defense is. Like, look at Brandon Ingram just able to get right to the um, rack. And then, since I have to help on every single possession, Steven Adams gets to clean up the boards and get an offensive rebound and a putback. Like, I'm doing legit everything. I'm helping on defense, which causes Steven Adams to get easy rebounds and easy points. And then I'm doing everything on offense. Like, how? How? Bro, we are shooting a million times better than New Orleans, and we're still down by double digits. That Dude, is there... I have dropped 56 points. We're shooting well above the New Orleans Hornets, not the Hornets, the Pelican shooting percentages. And we're still getting slapped around. This is just ridiculous. And with 10 seconds left, we're going to end up losing to the Pelicans. You were about to take that shot, you selfish son of a gun. That, we're going to lose by 7, 2.2 seconds left. Uh, uh, okay, I don't know why my guy just... So 117 to 124, I ended up dropping 62 points. Still wasn't enough. Still was not enough. And guess what? I'm going to sim the rest of the games in this episode. I'm not going to wait till the next episode. We're going to go over the box score real quick and see how much I had to bat pack. Um, Brandon Ango, 24 points. Zion, 23. Steven Adams, 21. And 17. You want to know why? Because every possession... On defense, I had to help my defender, or the uh, Brandon Ingram or Zion's defender. I had to help him, which left Steven Adams open for an offensive rebound and put back. That's the only reason why he scored that much. And for me, 62 points, 14 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 blocks, you know, just casual. Uh, it's unbelievable. 18-5, 15-3 for Karan. He had a good game, but he needed to score more. Shea was absolutely awful. And then no one else did anything. No one did anything. It, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. 62 points. Basically, half of our team's points came from me. That's honestly just ridiculous. And the best part is, we shot better from the field by taking less shots. It, it's honestly just annoying.
All right, now we're down 1-0. The next game will be, well, the next game I'll jump into is going to be an elimination game. So I forgot since I'm on the old gen that I can't go game by games. We actually won game two as Zion dropped 39. Oh, man. And we're down 2-1. If we go down 3-1, yep, we're down 3-1. Six Zion. Let's see what he's doing in the playoffs. 27 points a game. Kira Lewis is killing us. Nice voice crack. Where the hell? Steven Adams is even playing good. That's the best part. The Quran is playing like ass in the playoffs. I am carrying. Shea's starting to play better. I think I'm going to bench Darius Baisley. I think Baisley needs to be benched to be honest with you. But anyways, we're down 3-1. Uh, we're just going to get the rest of the series over it. So the Blazers sweep, the Sixers win in five, and the Bucks sweep. Next episode, you will see either us getting eliminated in five games or pushing it to a game six. GG.